Hey friends, we are back with the second poem from our poetry section. Children, the name of the poem is Indian Weavers. Now this poem will be studying a bit differently. You won't be able to see my video, but you could be able to see the contents of the poem. Children, this particular poem, which is termed as Indian Weavers, basically written by a very famous writer who is known as the Nightingale of India. It's none other than Sarojini Naidu. Now, children, before we start with the poem, the question arises: Ki Indian weavers. Now, weavers, you people are very familiar with it. Weavers ka matlab hota hai, chulo, craftsmen. Now, who are the craftsmen? Craftsmen are the people who basically create variety or diverse goods by using the techniques. It could be like you know goods or decorative decorative items, but these people basically use some traditional techniques to prepare these goods. Just like uh, we have various words, children that come up here. You could have a goldsmith, a blacksmith, a carpenter. These are the people who are referred to as the craftsmen. And another word we use for them is basically artisans. Now, in a similar way, children, a person who views clothes is called as a weaver jo kapde bunne wala aadmi rehta hai usko hum log weaver bulate hain so highlighting about the title of the poem indian weavers children this poem which is actually written by the nightingale of india and why she has used this picturization of indian weavers children this could be a very small poem with a deep underlying meaning and it makes you think over your life but before we start with the poem let's acquaint ourselves with the writer now as most of us are aware sarajani naidu could be a name that is associated with almost like we can say india's freedom struggle so sarajani naidu children her span of life Now most of us are aware about her name, but she was born in the year 1879 and died in the year 1949. That was almost two years after her independence. Children, though we know her as a very famous writer and a poet, you should also know that like she was a very famous or she was a very active or political activist. at the same ch time children she also could be described as a feminist feminists are like you know women who work or they speak for women we can say and very importantly children now we are very aware about one word that we always studied in our history books or word tha indian national congress wo bachcho the first woman thi who became the president of the indian national congress now that's to her credit we could say one more important thing children about her india ka jo azadi ka ladai hua tha india ka freedom struggle so almost like she was a very important figure in that way, in that as well acha because of her work as a poet and all the contributions that she made to the literary world इनको एक सॉब्रिकेट दिया गया था उनको एक उपाधि दी गई थी एंड दैट वाज शी इज बीइंग रिफर्ड टू एज अ नाइटिंग गेल ऑफ इंडिया ना चिल्ड्रन यू माइट कम अक्रॉस अ क्वेश्चन आपको लगता रहेगा कि शी वाज नॉट अ सिंगर नाउ नाइटिंग गेल कुड बी अ वर्ड दैट इज एसोसिएटेड विद अ सिंगर लेकिन चिल्ड्रन हियर शी डजेंट हैड एनीथिंग टू डू विथ सिंगिंग ओनली वन थिंग चिल्ड्रन हियर वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड द ब्यूटी ऑफ अ पोएम एंड the beautiful arrangements and the smallest words which give some deeper meanings inke je inke jo poems ka khoobsurti hai uski wajah se unko nightingale of india karke bola jata hai acha one more achievement that she had in a political career 1947 she became the governor of the united provinces or most importantly children we can say she was the first woman to hold the office of a governor after india became independent now ye tha unke bare mein abhi aate hain hum log poem ki taraf indian weavers 
children it's a very short poem consisting of hardly 12 lines we can say but if you go to describe it it could have a very long meaning and the meaning which is almost applicable to each one of us in our lives children so here in this poem hum log baat karne wale three different garments teen alag alag garments abhi garments banane ka kaam kiska hai weavers ka so three different garments which are going to be weaved by the weavers and each stanza represents a particular time of a day it could be like you know morning then suddenly she comes to a evening and the night so three different garments three different times of a day and very important children these are nothing but these are the important events in our human life hamari zindagi ki ye kuch stages hote hai jo poem ke zariye aapko represent karte hain children here we are going to discuss about three different stages of our lives the first one could be our birth the second one children it talks about adulthood and the third one obviously it talks about death so we every human being basically passes through these three different stages the birth the adulthood and finally children it's death so childhood young and then old and very importantly children each different stanza that she has very beautifully she has mentioned different colors and the colors are basically indicating the moods or the different types of moods that our life actually goes through so if you just want to understand this poem properly children how can we try to analyze it how can we just try to appreciate it and the children it's quite sim- simple first of all we try to understand ki, like in each stanza four lines are divided like this first of all we try to understand ki kaun sa waqt hai din ka that's the time of the day secondly children we try to guess out a color now this color will tell you ki what kind of mood the people are going through the third one what kind of garment these people are weaving kaun se type ka garment banaya ja raha hai and fourthly children very importantly ki how these different stages of life are reflected through these colors so children that's the way how we are going to study this poem so i will just take you alag alag stanza ke zariye jaate hain hum log yahan pe and each stanza we will just try to study it differently we will connect it later let's begin with the first stanza here we have the title of the poem children as usual as i said it it's indian weavers okay now can you just see children four lines dikh rahe hai aapko yahan pe first line let me read all the four lines to you first weavers weaving at break of day why do you weave a garment so gay blue as the wing of a halcyon wild we weave the robes of a newborn child now each line children has got some distinct meaning kuch na kuch ek acha sa meaning nikla hai isme se first line which says children weavers and weaving now children if you are aware with one figure of speech that we have very beautifully she has used one word with two different meanings children here weaving could be an activity that we have weavers basically are the people who do the work of weaving acha so it's a kind of repetition that we come across children now what time of the day it is to so, yahan pe ek phrase use kiya gaya hai phrase hai at break of day children what does that represent break of day means the beginning of the day sometimes we also refer to it as dawn jaise din ki shuruaat hoti hai to us waqt hum log observe kar rahe hain ki yahan pe kuch weavers hai jo kuch kapda bunne ka kaam kar rahe hain they are doing the work of weaving second line children it indicates what is the mood of this people so she is asking you a question that could be an example of interrogation bolte hai isko why do you weave a garment so gay now gay word children here actually stands for happiness or it could be like you know the excitement or it could be something like you know ecstasy acha yahan pe aapko ek छोटी सी बात समझनी पड़ेगी कि दे हैव 
related the word gay with the word garment so children the question arises before us is that ki is the garment very happy or the people who are weaving the garment are very happy to khushi kisse wo kapda jo buna ja raha hai wo khush hai ya fir jo weavers hai jo kapda bunne ka kaam kar raha hai wo log bahut khush hai so it could be like you know transferred epithets children we basically talk about the quality of being happy is transferred from the people to the garment and see children garment cannot be happy so it could be an example of what's known as a personification bolte isko hum log ki wo jo kapda hai wo bahut khush hai nahi wo log yahan pe kapde banane wale jo log hai they are feeling so excited wo log itne ecstasy feel kar rahe hain they are so happy and might be because the garment that these people are weaving is so beautiful that people feel very happy while they are weaving them to kapda itna khoobsurat ban raha hai bachlo unse ki wo jo kapda banane ka jo khushi hai wo kin ke chehre pe dikhega aapko weavers ke chehre pe so the third line children then we come across some comparison now blue as the wing of a halcyon wild so children third line indicates a important color blue now we are going to compare it with one more word children what is the halcyon wild halcyon wild children it represents a bird which most of us have seen many of you must not seen but kam se kam national geography or animal planet pe aapne dekha rahega halcyon wild halcyon wild children it's nothing but kingfisher now kingfisher has been used in order to indicate that blue color तो ब्लू कलर के बहुत सारे शेड्स होते हैं और ये बहुत सारे शेड्स में से एक होता है वो हेल्थ इन वाइल्ड वाला शेड विच यू कैन एक्चुअली ऑब्जर्व इन अ इफ यू जस्ट ऑब्जर्व अ किंग फिशर अगर आपने कभी किंग फिशर देखा रहेगा तो बहुत ही खूबसूरत ऐसा एक शेड रहता है उसके ऊपर ब्लू कलर का तो चिल्ड्रन हियर दिस थर्ड लाइन क्या इंडिकेट कर रहा है कि इन लोगों का जो मूड है उसको इंडिकेट करने के लिए उन्होंने ब्लू कलर को यहाँ पे रिप्रेजेंट किया हुआ है Now the question arises, children, ki like what are these people weaving? And the answer is here, children, in front of you, in the fourth line. Can you see here? Yes, these people. They say that we weave the robes of a newborn child. What are they weaving? The robes. Robes are basically children, cloth. What the? You can see the clothes that a child will wear here. It's a one-piece cloth that is used to make a. dress for a child so let's just did you observe that we view w w now that's an example of alliteration some sounding effect that these people have used now the robes of a newborn child children can you just relate all these four lines together so the first question sabse pehla sawal aata hai aapke samne ke liye what time of the day is mentioned in this first stanza and your answer is simple children it's the break of the day dawn that is morning acha one more children thing that you can observe here is ki what is the mood of the people who are weaving the clothes so we can say ki like these people are very excited they are going through ecstasy and happiness now the third line ki like what color has been used to indicate this particular feeling blue the blue feeling is indicated through that halcyon wild that's a kingfisher bird and we view the robes of a newborn child to ek naye ek bachcha jiska naya naya janam hua hai uske liye kapda banane ka kaam kar rahe log now break of day a newborn child jaise bachcha log ek din ki shuruaat hoti hai and you all feel very like you know we feel very happy excited when it's a morning the other times of the day could be actually less excitement as compared to a morning in a similar way children hamare zindagi ka ek jo sabse important phase hota hai wo hota hai hamara janam aur jaise ghar pe ek aadmi ke bachche ka janam hota hai to aapko pata hai wo bachcha to khush hota hi hai because he gets to see this beautiful world at the same time children wo ghar ke andar ka jo vatavaran rehta hai the entire atmosphere in the house is basically talks about the again it's happiness and excitement because there's a new member in the family and children that blue color that has been used here blue color it represents like you know expectations from life ki zindagi ki jo ummeed rehti hai 
सो एक छोटा बच्चा उससे खुद से भी बहुत सारी उम्मीदें रहती है बच्चों जिंदगी में से और बाकी लोगों से भी वो बहुत सारे बाकी लोग भी उससे बहुत सारी उम्मीदें रखते हैं दैट्स द फर्स्ट स्टैंडा चिल्ड्रेन दैट कम अक्रॉस नाउ कमिंग अक्रॉस द सेकेंड स्टैंडा यर द सेकेंड स्टैंडा अगेन वी कम अक्रॉस फोर डिफरेंट लाइन्स चारों लाइन में बच्चों लोग सबसे पहले हम लोग देखेंगे वॉट टाइम ऑफ द डे इट इज सेकेंडली वॉट फीलिंग्स दिस पीपल आर गोइंग थ्रू थर्ड वन कौन से कलर से उसको हम लोग कंपेयर करेंगे एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली चिल्ड्रन हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सी लाइक व्हाट काइंड ऑफ क्लॉथ इज बीइंग व्यूड एट दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइम ऑफ द डे दैट्स चिल्ड्रन एज वी रीच टुवर्ड्स द सेकंड स्टैंडा सेकंड स्टैंडा का कंस्ट्रक्शन तो आपको पता है चार लाइन्स ठीक है टाइम ऑफ द डे अच्छा वॉट काइंड ऑफ गार्मेंट दिस पीपल आर विविंग ठीक है देन दे रिप्रेजेंट अ कलर लास्टली चिल्ड्रन इट विल रिफ्लेक्ट टू आर लाइफ ठीक है चलो एक एक लाइन हम लोग यहाँ पे एनालाइज करने वाले हैं एक एक लाइन जब एनालाइज करने जाएंगे यहाँ पे तो फर्स्ट लाइन चिल्ड्रन विच वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वीवर्स वीविंग ओके एट द फॉल ऑफ नाइट चिल्ड्रन वीवर्स वीविंग अगेन द सेम वर्ड्स दैट वर यूज इन द फर्स्ट स्टैंड वही वर्ड्स यहाँ पे भी यूज किए जा रहे हैं वट टाइम ऑफ द डेट इज चिल्ड्रन इट इज फर्स्ट स्टैंड में क्या बोला गया था ब्रेक ऑफ डे और हियर वी कम अक्रॉस दिस फ्री चिल्ड्रन वेर वी आर रिफरिंग टू अ फॉल ऑफ नाइट फॉल ऑफ नाइट चिल्ड्रन इट्स द टाइम ऑफ द डे विच इंडिकेट्स इवनिंग शाम हो चुकी है अच्छा वट हैपन्स एट दिस Why do you weave a garment so bright? Second line में they are actually interrogating. और interrogation को कितने अच्छे से रखा है कि ये लोग जो है कौन weavers? Why do you weave a garment so bright? First stanza में क्या था बच्चों? Why do you weave a garment so gay? यहाँ पे बोलते कि why do you weave a garment so bright? So यहाँ पे जो कपड़ा बुनने का काम किया जा रहा है कौन से टाइप का कपड़ा है तो इट्स अ ब्राइट क्लॉथ दैट इज बीइंग व्यूड तो ब्राइट क्लॉथ इट्स लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल द एग्जैक्टली व्हाइट काइंड ऑफ क्लॉथ दैट इज बीइंग व्यूड हियर नाउ व्हाट आर दे गोइंग टू कंपेयर दिस क्लॉथ विद चिल्ड्रन तो लाइक द प्लूम्स ऑफ अ पिकॉक प्लूम्स चिल्ड्रन आर द फेदर्स जो एक पिकॉक रहता है चलो मोर वो अपने फेदर्स जो फैलाता है तो उसको हम लोग क्या बुलाते हैं प्लूम्स करके बोलते हैं प्लूम्स में से आपको दो कलर्स हाइलाइटेड मिलेंगे और दो कलर्स होते हैं पर्पल एंड ग्रीन अगेन चिल्ड्रन वी कम अक्रॉस दिस वर्ड्स पर्पल और ग्रीन का यहाँ पे मतलब क्या होगा इट्स कुड बी समथिंग रिलेटेड टू सेलिब्रेशन चिल्ड्रन इट कुड बी समथिंग रिलेटेड टू प्रोस्पेरिटी एंड अगेन ऐसे कि लाइक बेसिकली गोइंग बैक टू द बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ हैप्पीनेस एंड एक्साइटमेंट तो कौन से वहाँ पे कौन से बर्ड का इस्तेमाल किया गया था चलो हेल्सियन वाइल्ड किंग फिशर जैसे एक नया बच्चा वो जैसे कि अलर्ट रहता है चलो वो जिस तरीके से मतलब फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्साइटेड रहता है इन अ सिमिलर वे दे हैड यूज्ड देखो वहाँ पे ब्लू कलर यूज करने का मतलब क्या था इट वॉज लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ लाइफ इन अ सिमिलर वे चिल्ड्रन वाई सी दे कुड बी आदर शेड्स ऑल्सो लेकिन फिर उन्होंने किसकी बात की वहाँ पे किंग फिशर बर्ड इट रेप्रेजेंट्स लाइक द अलर्टनेस ऑफ अ चाइल्ड यहाँ पे पिकॉक को हम लोग रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं द फोर्थ लाइन चिल्ड्रन वट काइंड ऑफ गार्मेंट दिस पीपल आर वीविंग सो वी वीव द मैरिज वेल्स ऑफ अ क्वीन ओके एक रानी है और उसके लिए शादी के लिए कोई मतलब कपड़े जो बुनने का काम किया जा रहा है एक रानी उसकी शादी और उसकी शादी में उसको पहनने के लिए जो रॉयल कपड़े बनाए जाते हैं तो उनको बुनने का काम ए वीवर्स कर रहे हैं चिल्ड्रन नाउ द क्वेश्चन आर एजिस की लाइक हम लोग इसको कैसे इंटरप्रिट कर सकते हैं ठीक है सो आई थिंक फॉल ऑफ नाइट इवनिंग चिल्ड्रन हमारे लाइफ का भी एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टाइम रहता है दिन भर हम लोग काम पे जाते हैं बच्चे स्कूल जाते हैं जैसे ही इवनिंग होती है सो वी ऑल पीपल गैदर इन द हाउस वंस अगेन आफ्टर अकम्पलिशिंग ऑल आर हाउस होल्ड ऑल आर डे टू डे वर्क पूरा काम करने के बाद में शाम को जैसे सब लोग घर पे इकट्ठा होते हैं तो वहाँ पे भी सब लोग जनरली थोड़े खुश होते हैं हर एक ने अपने अपने हिस्से में आया हुआ जो भी काम किया रहता है वो कंप्लीट किया हुआ रहता है और वो जो एक अकम्पलिशमेंट का हैप्पीनेस होता है वो शाम को सबके चेहरे पे आपको दिखाई देगा सो दैट रिप्रेजेंट्स नाइट 
and see children the second light itself why do we view a garment so bright brightness is again children here we are talking about that colorful life that we could have so in the evening when all the people it could be the parents the children everywhere who goes out they come inside and again the environment or the entire atmosphere in the family children it's so beautiful we could say like acha usko compare kisse kiya gaya like the plumes of a peacock children if you see a peacock jo generally aapko ya to mornings mein ya fir evenings mein aapko bahar dikhai dete hain and when they are very happy you could see them dancing and whenever they dance children to log apne feathers ko spread out karte jisko hum log yahan pe plumes bolte hain to feathers pe aapko kaun se color dikhai denge to purple and green children purple and green are basically purple could be a very royal color and see when you see a peacock dancing basically uska like the gait in the way like uska chalne ka jo style rehta hai chalo it's very royal and green could be children again well being prosperity these are the words that are related with this color acha abhi sawal aata hai ki kaun se type ka kapda banane ka kaam chal raha hai yahan pe so they view the marriage veils of a queen children another important phase of a person's life is the marriage shaadi ek aad vyakti ki life ka bahut important phase mana jata hai isko aur ye phase jo rehta hai yahan pe har ek aurat ko apne zindagi mein एक ऐसा वक्त आता है जब वो एक रानी के जैसे सच धच के तैयार रहती है एंड दैट टाइम ऑफ द लाइफ चिल्ड्रन इज नथिंग बट द मैरिज सो इट्स दैट टाइम व्हेन अ वुमन कुड फील लाइक अ क्वीन नाउ दैट इज अ टाइम चिल्ड्रन व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन अ वुमन्स लाइफ चिल्ड्रन एंड दैट कुड बी अ लाइफ चेंजिंग मूवमेंट वी कैन से तो एकाद रानी के शादी के लिए कपड़ा जो लगता है उसको बुनने का काम चल रहा है यहाँ पे सो दैट्स द सेकेंड स्टेज ऑफ लाइफ चिल्ड्रन फर्स्ट स्टेज पे हमने किसकी बात की थी चाइल्डहुड ये जो सेकेंड स्टेज यहाँ पे दिख रहा है वहाँ पे हम लोग किसकी बात कर रहे हैं एडल्टुड गेटिंग मैरिड लिविंग योर लाइफ ओके कमिंग बैक इन द हाउस एंड एसेसिंग या फिर इवेल्युएटिंग वॉट एवर यू हैव अचीव थ्रू आउट द डे एंड फीलिंग वेरी हैप्पी एट योर अचीवमेंट्स और वॉट एवर यू हैव डन थ्रू आउट द डे अच्छा अभी इसको एनालाइज करने के लिए आपको टेक्निक पता है पहले व्हाट टाइम ऑफ द डे इट इज इवनिंग दूसरा कौन से टाइप का कपड़ा बना रहे हो लोग तो इट्स वेरी ब्राइट ब्राइट कुड बी द फीलिंग ऑफ हैप्पीनेस दैट इज रिलेटेड टू द व्यूवर्स अच्छा किससे कंपेयर किया जा रहा है यहाँ पे पिकॉक के साथ द प्लूम्स ऑफ अ पिकॉक अगेन देव यूज दैट पी वर्ड पी लेटर थ्री टाइम्स इट्स एलिट्रेशन चिल्ड्रन एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली चिल्ड्रन यू की the color that they are representing is purple and green with a very familiar meaning of royalness and the prosperity that we have acha kaun si cheez ko buna ja raha hai yahan pe to marriage veils of a queen marriage veils could be the dress the queen wears at her marriage that could be a very royal uh, extravagant moment of her life children finally coming towards the third stanza which will be the concluding stanza and obviously children ye hamare life ka bhi conclusion hota hai now what does this stanza have to stay here or say here the final concluding stanza that we come across here basically it could actually represent the third stage of a person's life children we spoke about the childhood when a child is born and the different kinds of feelings and the moods are associated with that and the time of the day that was mentioned was morning the second stanza which dealt with the time of the day that is evening the evening represents adulthood and one important event that was mentioned along with it was the marriage children here the concluding stanza let me read the stanza to you first we were weaving solemn and still What do you weave in the moonlight chill white as a feather and white as a cloud we weave a dead man's funeral shroud children again agar aapko ek poem acche se samajhna hai to char alag alag lines aur har ek line mein typically the first line speaks about the time of the day the second line talks about the feelings or the moods that the weavers are experiencing the third line represents 
a thing or a color that is being representing that this stage of life and the last one children ki what kind of cloth is being woven here so one by one let me explain to you these four lines the first one weavers weaving solemn and still children when we were talking about the morning what kind of feeling that the weavers had they had a feeling of excitement ecstasy happiness which are actually associated with the birth of a child or it could be another thing that is represented is the morning the second stanza children which is actually talking about evening and evening also there we had a lot of brightness that people went across or the happiness now that amount of excitement happiness children and suddenly there is a time of the day when you actually feel that the things have become very silent or everything has become so solemn solemn children basically means serious abhi viewers jo subah itne khush the शाम को भी इन लोगों में बहुत सारा एक्साइटमेंट दिख रहा था एंड सडनली दिस पीपल दे बिकम वेरी सीरियस एंड एवरीथिंग इज सो स्टिल यू रिमेंबर लाइक वेन एवर वी रिपीट टू डिफरेंट और अ सिंगल लेटर रिपीटेड इन ऑर्डर टू फॉर सम पोएटिक इफेक्ट वी रिफर टू इट एज एलिट्रेशन सो इन द फर्स्ट लाइन इट्स एट चिल्ड्रेन दे हैव यूज टू डिफरेंट एलिट्रेशन वीवर्स वीविंग योर द साउंड ऑफ लेटर डब्ल्यू इज रिपीटेड फॉर पोएटिक इफेक्ट solemn and still again the sound of letter s is repeated for poetic effect acha here children the first line here they are actually expressing like what the weavers are going through they are feeling solemn and still now solemn and still could be a line that basically indicates that particular phase of life children which is going to be the end of a person's life and the end of a person's life children is actually associated with solemnity and still when you are not able to move and your body could be lying very still what do you view in the moonlight chill children again an interrogation without a question mark ki kaun sa waqt hai what do you view in the moonlight chill moonlight children here indicates the night and when we talk about night the question arises ki what time or the what stage of a person's life is being indicated through this line children the first stanza talking about childhood the second stanza talking about adulthood and the night in this line children indicates the death of a person so we are moving from the childhood towards adulthood and finally the end of a life that is indicated by the moonlight and it's very chill the things are cool there is no excitement there is no happiness around people are serious because that's we are coming toward the end of the life that we lived now question arises children ki like what are we going to compare this stage of life with white as a feather and white as a cloud children white color here indicates death whenever a person dies we generally wrap him up in a white cloth now that white cloth is here being compared with two different things children white as a feather ek ad bird uske feathers jaise rehte hain acha and we typically talk about white color feathers and white as a cloud clouds agar aapne observe kiye rahenge to do types ke clouds aapko dikhte hain whenever it is thundering and about to rain then we observe black clouds children black clouds are full of rain and productive but when we see a white cloud it represents they are sterile sterile in like they contain no rain there is no water and then there is no expectation when we live our entire life hum log pura zindagi bitane ke baad at the end children we have nothing with us we are very unproductive and we leave this world we don't carry any of our belonging with us in a similar way children ek ad cloud aata hai jitna bhi uske andar barish rehta hai and a cloud is so generous children whatever rain or whatever water it has it gives away everything what it has and the next season it actually so generous that it brings more rain and gives and again goes away 
एक आध बादल के अंदर का पूरा बारिश देने के बाद जो वाइट क्लाउड बचता है उसको हम लोग यहाँ पे वाइट कलर से रिफर कर रहे हैं इट इंडिकेट चिल्ड्रन दैट देर इज नथिंग लेफ्ट इन द क्लाउड दर इज नो रेन दर इज नो वाटर इट्स अ स्टेराइल क्लाउड इट्स अनप्रोडक्टिव चिल्ड्रन दैट क्लाउड रिप्रेजेंट्स अ पर्सन इस जिंदगी भर हम लोग ये सब पैसा मटेरियल वर्ल्ड हैप्पीनेस रिलेशंस ये सब के पीछे भागते हैं बट एट दी एंड चिल्ड्रन वेन वी डाई वी आर सो अनप्रोडक्टिव दैट वी कैन नॉट कैरी एनी थिंग विथ दिस वी हैव टू गो एम टी हैंड्रेड एंड लास्टली वी वीव अ डेड मैंस फ्यूनरल श्राउड सो चिल्ड्रन थ्री डिफरेंट क्लॉथ्स दैट आर बींग ओवन सरोजिनी नायडू उनको नाइटिंगल बुलाने के पीछे का यही एक रीजन children so long i've been explaining you this poem it's hardly 12 lines but the diff- very nicely children different times of the day different type of cloth that is been woven by the weavers and they representing three different stages of life and we end this poem wherein we understand that the weavers are weaving a dead man's funeral shroud ek vyakti jo mar chuka hai उसको रैप करने के लिए वो जो कपड़ा तैयार किया जा रहा है यहाँ पे उसके लाइफ का एंड अज्यूम कर लेते हैं हम लोग यहाँ पे सो चिल्ड्रन व्हाट डू वी बेसिकली अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दिस पोयम सो इट्स लाइक वी कमिंग टू दिस वर्ल्ड एज अ न्यू बॉर्न चाइल्ड विद अ लॉट ऑफ एक्साइटमेंट एंड ऑल देन लिविंग अ लाइफ एट द एंड ऑफ द डे चिल्ड्रन हम लोग इवेल्युएट करते हैं कि हमने दिन भर क्या अचीव किया था कुछ अकम्पलिशमेंट होते कुछ फेलियर्स होते हैं बट वॉट एवर इज इज एट द एंड ऑफ द डे वी माइट फील हैप्पी फॉर ऑल आर अकम्पलिशमेंट्स एंड चिल्ड्रन द थर्ड स्टैंडा जो हमारे डेथ से रिलेट करता है जहाँ पे हम लोग ये पोएम कंक्लूड करते हैं और हमारा लाइफ भी कंक्लूड होता है थैंक यू विल सी अगेन विद द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विथ नेक्स्ट लेसन टिल देन बाय टेक केयर बी सेफ